Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. Today I finally arrived at that house I'm going to be dissecting. And as you can see, it's literally got everything. It's got a big barn and storage area on this side. Big old barn. It's also got some corn sheds where they stick corn and then dry it off. There's also a nice um, supply room and garage. There's another smaller barn right here. There's another tractor garage right here, and this is all from the mid to late 1800s. So this is going to be a really fun hunt, hopefully. And hopefully I find some good stuff. Let's get out the detector. All right, guys, so we got our first good finds of the hunt. About six inches down. Looks like we got some little coin spill. Looks like a really old coin spill, too. As you can see in the back, they're definitely weedies. Can't really see on that one, but this one you can see easier. 1940 something this one is and then this one also looks to be from the early 40s pretty cool though we're on the board okay. so right here i signal about five inches down and that's something right here it's kind of heavy it's got some decent weight to it and it's also round and it's got no shank hmm what it is I don't think I'm going to be able to clean it off or identify it, though. It could be an old, like, iron aluminum token or something. Interesting. Let's keep on hunting. Hey guys, I have a nice signal about, let's say, six inches down. And it looks like I got my first silver. Very cool. Definitely silver. Just looks like a rosy dime. That's all right, though. Silver, silver. Let's see what the year is. 1962. Not even super old, but I'll take it. Very cool. Alright, so, got something right here I thought was just a big chunk of aluminum, but it looks like it's actually some kind of old dipper. Old serving dipper for like tea and soup. That's pretty cool. I wish it wasn't folded beyond recognition, but still cool. I'll take it. Alright, I signal in the high 80s. And look at this, guys. We got a spoon. But it was ringing pretty high too, so who knows what it's made out of. Look at that little thing. It's a kid's spoon, I think. It's pretty shiny though. I think it's just plated steel, but who knows. I'm out here enjoying life in the middle of nowhere. And I got a decent signal about five inches down. Looks like a really old tag of some kind. It's pretty interesting. Looks like it says something on it. Two five seven four. It has numbers and serial numbers all over as well it's pretty interesting hmm. it's like i got a nice buckle right here definitely not a new one or old one though looks like it's probably from the 40s or 50s that's the thing where the leather belt would go and the strap would go through here hmm. pretty interesting all right so i got a nice coin stick going about five minutes down looks like they just need a coin Scent. Very cool. Not terribly old though. I can already see the year on it, 1953D. It's alright though. Still a wheat penny. I will take it. Alright, about six inches down in this hole. Looks like I got a really, really old rusty iron spoon. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Probably is from the early 1900s, late 1800s. Nice. Hmm. About three inches down, I got this weird little tag right here. It says on it, American Energy Services 1997. Pretty interesting. Alright guys, about four inches down in this hole. Looks like I got a piece of packaging. Really old, looks like. Puncture and pry up. Hmm. Okay guys, 
so make sure to always puncture and pry up. Pretty interesting. Let's keep on hunting. All right, so right here, it looks like it has some sort of interesting pin looking thing. And it looks to be a design of an owl. Pretty interesting. Let's keep on detecting. Oh man, guys, look at this. Do you see that? So I had a very weird signal. It was jumping very high and it was pretty faint. And I said, okay, whatever, let's dig it. Look at that, guys. So do you see that? Right there. There's a silver edge of what looks to be a silver quarter right on edge. Wow. Let's pop it out live. Looks just to be a Washington quarter. Wow. Yep, it's a Washington quarter. Looks like a pretty old one though. 1939 is what it says on it. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna clean it off, see what it looks like. Very cool. Let's keep on hunting. Uh, I do have a spray bottle with me so I can clean this thing off. Wow, look at that, guys. Beautiful 1939 silver Washington Quarter. That is awesome. I'll take that. It doesn't have a mint mark, but that is all right. I will take a silver quarter all day. It's been a while since I've dug a silver quarter. Very cool. So you can see the reeds on the edges. So I clean that off. Very cool. Let's keep on hunting. Another signal about five inches down. It's like it's an old bullet. Not terribly old though. This was probably thought uh, from like the maybe 60s or 70s probably. That's the oldest I would think this would be able to go through. It's pretty modern though. So I had a signal about five inches down, kind of choppy. And I looked down in the hole, looks like it's another one of those child spoons. This one's a little bit more mangled than the last one. Zoom out a little bit so you guys can see better. Here we are. That's pretty cool though. It's gotta be pretty old. Probably from before the 50s, I would say. I think it's aluminum, I don't think it's silver. Because it's not terribly heavy. So that's pretty cool though. And hey, still works. All right, so I had a nice signal about six inches down. Looks like it's another mangled spoon. I'm gonna bend it back a little bit so it's easier to see. Ugh. Well, that didn't help very much, but it's got a little bit of design on it. It's pretty cool. Maker's mark will be right in the back right here. Very nice. And as you can see, it still works. I right, set a decent signal about four inches down. Looks like it is a dime. Doesn't look terribly old either. Probably just from the 90s. 1989. Yep, just a dime. All, All right, so on a scratchy 60s signal right next to the house. About seven inches down, looks like I got a nice two-piece button. Very cool. It's got a nice design on it too. Look at that. That's probably early 1900s. Maybe a little sooner, maybe 1920s. Very cool though. Shanks busted off unfortunately, but that's all right. Very cool. Let's keep on hunting. All right, guys, I took a short break and got some water because it's really hot out here. It's about 90 degrees. And I put away my other Garrett detector and then I took out my Bounty Hunter, my Bounty Hunter Tracker 4. And you guys might ask, why am I taking out a $100 detector in place of a nice Garrett? Well, believe it or not, this machine right here, the Bounty Hunter Tracker 4 is great at hunting 
hunting through areas of with lots of iron and um, that's pretty much perfect because this yard is filled with iron so I decided to switch out detectors and within the first two minutes of detecting I found a really nice old wheat scent and it was in the exact same hole with like three nails and um, it was also in the hole with uh, some aluminum as well it's like a 19 1940s it looks like hmm that's interesting it's pretty rare you get s mint mark wheat pennies over here all the way out in ohio fortunately i did nick it a little bit right there but that's all right let's keep on detecting and look at that guys already this machine did it again literally three feet away from where i got that 1940s wheat penny i see something shiny in the bottom of the hole look at that guys Looks like we got a silver. Another one. Let me take it out real fast. Ooh, looks like a Mercury 9. Awesome. Ooh, this one's also gotten a cement mark just like that uh, wheat, penny, wheat penny did. That's very cool. I'm gonna get the squirt bottle. Hey, can we get our squirt bottle? Let's, let's clean this mic off. There we are. There's the back. Back looks very nice. Let's clean the front off. There we are. 1944 Mercury Dime. Very nice. It's in nice condition, too. And don't forget, it's also got that estimate mark. Awesome. It's our third silver hunt. Let's keep on hunting. Alright, so I had a nice signal about six inches down. Looks like it is a spreader. Pretty nice piece of silverware. It's probably aluminum, though. Like most of the pieces of silverware I found. I think that's the, this is the back side right here. It's pretty cool though. This is what you'd use to spread butter on corn or something like that. It's a nice find. Let's keep on hunting. Got another signal about five inches down, still using the bounty hunter. And it looks like I got myself a button. This one looks a bit newer. It also looks like it's got nice gild on it as well. That's pretty cool. So this is probably what I'm guessing 1940s or 50s. Not super old, but still pretty cool. Let's see if it has a maker's mark in the back. Doesn't look like it. Very nice. Let's keep on hunting. Guys, I'm still in the front of the house right here. And I had a sketchy signal about six inches down. Looks like possibly what could be a really pancaked, smashed old doorbell. It's pretty interesting. I do see something right here that used to be attached, but I don't know. Let's keep on hunting. And the bounty hunter strikes again. We got another really old coin in the hole about six inches down. It looks like it's in actually nice condition. 1937. Wow. That's surprisingly clear for an old wheat penny that deep. Very cool. All right guys, so I had uh, some mixed signals going on in this little hole right here about five inches, six inches down. And first I pulled out this really old bullet. Look how old that is. That's gotta be early 1900s right there. And then this, it's another piece of the owl ornament that I found earlier. Very cool, let's keep on hunting.